I just found the ultimate way to pack as light as possible without actually feeling like you're packing light. This video is for you if you wanna fly carry-on only, but don't wanna pay for a bag and don't wanna deal with finding space in the overhead bin, or maybe you struggle with overpacking and don't think you can fit everything into one bag. This changes everything. But first, we have to go down to my packing dungeon. Okay. Here is everything I'm going to pack into one bag. This is 10 days worth of outfits that are going to fit into a bag that fits under the seat, meaning nothing goes in the overhead bin, just one personal item bag. Whether you're going for one week or three weeks, whether you're exploring Europe, visiting Disneyland, going on a tropical beach vacation, or strolling the streets of Vegas, you can fit it all. Here's how it's going to work. The first item we have is the complete game changer for this packing system. It's basically the shell of a neck pillow that you can stuff with clothing, and then you bring that on the plane, and this isn't going to count towards your luggage or your bags. It's this soft, plush material and very comfortable, and yes, we're going to pack some clothes in here. And it's got two different clasps and straps depending how you wanna carry it. Also, this video is not sponsored. I did not get anything for free. I purchased this off of Amazon. It cost me about 20 bucks. There are a few different Kinds, though. Next, we have this travel backpack. This is going to be your main bag. It's a 30 liter capacity and weighs about two pounds. So if you have a carry-on bag weight limit, this is really going to help you. This bag was around $45, and so far the quality feels very well made. The material is quite durable, and again, it's only $45. The best part is that it opens up like a suitcase for easy packing. It's got a shoe compartment at the bottom with air vents, and it's completely separate from the rest of the bag and easy to keep clean. Or if you don't wanna pack a pair of shoes in here, you could also use this as your dirty laundry bag and keep it separated from the rest of your clothing. Then in the front, there are lots of zippered pockets and there's also a wet bag pocket. So this is where I pack my swimsuits, or again, it's a good spot for your dirty clothes after you wear them. On the front, there are a few more zippered pockets for quick access to small things. There's also an anti-theft hidden zippered pocket against the back and a laptop sleeve. Now, I'm gonna show you how to pack everything and what to pack and how it all comes together in these bags. I'm also going to talk about variations based on different weather, so this should apply to all destinations and times of year. I've got four pairs of pants, jeans, some flowy fun pants, joggers, and leggings, and keep in mind, we're gonna wear one of these on the plane. Then I have one dress, two plain t-shirts, and a few tank tops, one pair of shorts, and one long sleeve shirt. And then layering pieces, a cardigan, and two light athletic zip up style jackets. And yes, I am only five foot one, but before anyone says that it's easy because my clothes are small, my husband Chris is six foot nine and he uses the same amount of luggage space as I do or even less sometimes. And a lot of that also includes some of our camera gear. So clothing size isn't really an issue here. And in fact, I've actually packed a little too much. I could probably get away with one less pair of bottoms and a couple less t-shirts. but I couldn't decide and there's room, so why not? Now, for differences in weather, you can easily change out some of these items. So if you're going to a cooler destination, you can bring a packable puffer jacket, omit the shorts, dress and tanks, and add in another layering piece. If you're headed somewhere warmer, you can exchange two pairs of pants and add in more shorts or a skirt or another dress or swimsuit cover up. Then I also have my belt, swimsuit, undergarments, which you don't need to see, and hotel room slippers. I'm packing two Two pairs of shoes. I'll wear my white sneakers on the plane. These are my everyday walking around shoes when I'm in destination. And then also my Birkenstock sandals. Now let's pack everything up. First, I'm taking away the pair of jeans, black zip, and t-shirt, and these will be worn on the plane. In the neck pillow, I put my softest items, but also items that I might want to wear on the plane or on my travel day. So I've put my light cardigan in here, my zip-up jackets, leggings and t-shirts and shorts. But if you're someone who likes to bring a sarong or scarf, this would fit in here as well. Or if you're bringing a puffer jacket, that's where it would go if you're not going to be wearing it. Here's another use for the stuffable neck pillow. A lot of people always ask me, what about shopping or buying things when you're on vacation? Well, if you don't need the extra packing space, it does come in a lightweight carrying bag. So if you do plan to do some shopping on your trip, you can fill this up for the flight home. In the backpack, I start with my shoes. Instead of sliding them straight 
straight in. I actually stack them on top of each other and this saves a little space. Next, using compressible packing cubes is essential here. I use a couple of different sizes. I start with my shirts in the packing cube, which will end up being the largest item, so I place that in first. I also really like this long slim packing cube and I put that on the one side of the backpack. These slim packing cubes also work really great for roller luggage because you can tuck them inside the sides of the spine. Then I take my pants and fold them into bricks and place them in the backpack. Then everything else just slides into the remaining space. I'm also packing my empty belt bag as my everyday carry because it packs perfectly flat. For toiletries, this toiletry bag fits with this system perfectly because it's slim and low profile. Inside, it's got two detachable dop kits and these are actually both completely leak proof. You can also hang it in two different ways depending on what kind of space you have. And it's got a few extra pouches and pockets. And then in the wet bag zipper, I pack my swimsuits as well as my trusty old foot hammock. I have featured this before in other videos and I never fly without it. And then finally, I'm sliding my laptop in the laptop sleeve, which goes against my back. Now this bag with all the clothes and shoes and my laptop weighs in at just over 13 pounds or about six kilograms. And then without my laptop, it's 10.2 pounds or four and a half kilograms. I also wanted to do a comparison with my weekender bag that I use quite often. I have featured it in a few videos before and it easily fits under the seat. So as you can see here, everything in the backpack fits in this bag with room to spare. And this bag was about $20 and it's been brought on dozens of trips at this point. So there you have it, a couple of options for under the seat bags. Now, all of these clothes, including whatever outfit you're wearing on your travel day and on the plane, should give you enough outfits for at least seven to 10 days. Anything longer than that, and you'll probably have to be okay with doing some laundry, but it's not as bad as you think. So stay tuned to my channel because I'm working on a video that compares my favorite packing systems to help you learn how to create as many possible outfits with the fewest articles of clothing and tips for laundry when you're traveling. And as always, all the products that I use are linked in the description and in the comments. And please feel free to let me know if you have any questions or requests for future videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.